Hey everyone, Jace for with my latest custom build. This is a 1960s Lego Suburban home that features three bedrooms, one three quarter baths, a large backyard, and country kitchen. Let's take a closer look. Nice simple front yard with landscaping. I did add siding on the lower portion of the wall and use radiator grills for shutters around the windows. Flower bed along the side of the driveway. There's the garage door. I even added a basketball hoop. There's the front porch. We have the side of the house with a small vegetable garden and a power functions box to control the garage door. Let's turn it on. Let's see what's inside the garage. I have a small remote control. We have two vehicles parked in the garage. Just some simple cars. I did add roof vents to the top of the roof. I used some bright red and the new dark red roof slopes. I knew I wasn't going to have enough of the dark red, so I ended up mixing in some bright red. This side of the house is rather bare. You have a gas meter, a couple of vents, we even have an air conditioner unit mounted on the top of the roof. Here we have the backyard. I decided to put the large spruce tree in the corner to fill in that area. That pool looks refreshing. Have patio furniture. Here's the entry into the garage. Panel meter. Here we have the entry that goes into the living room. I like the way the pool turned out. I didn't have enough of the light blue plates so I stuck white. This looks more like steps with the two-toned color. We even have a few dogs in the backyard as well. Very simple. Here's an overview of the roof. It can be removed. This is very heavy. It's a bit difficult to muscle around. 
Here's the underside of the roof. It is equipped with lights to light up the interior. We'll take a look at that in a bit. Here's the porch. Here's the entry. It does have a working doorbell. Let's press this Technic shaft. I grabbed that sound block from a creator set. We have a door that takes you into the country kitchen. We have a dining room. The family room on the top right. On the bottom right, we have a spacious two car garage. You can come from the hallway. You have a hall closet that takes you into the guest bathroom. We have two hall closets. Here we have bedroom one, bedroom two. We have the master bedroom and the master three-quarter bathroom. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Here is the tile entry. There's even a hat rack by the front door. This door takes you into the large country kitchen. You have a china hutch with a large dining room table. That bowl of fruit looks mighty appetizing. Here we have a double oven, a stove, microwave, sink, and dishwasher. I continue the tile pattern into the kitchen as well. On this side we have a set of fake cupboards and a refrigerator freezer. This does open up. You got some ice cream inside. Oh, looks like we're going to need to go shopping too. I have a wall clock and a wall mounted rotary phone. So, apparently, the phone service hasn't been upgraded in this house for quite some time. Here's the family room. Have a bookshelf on the top right. I like the way I did the hardwood floor. I was breaking away from adding carpeting into the house. Have a flat screen TV and stereo gear. Here's looking down the hallway. You have a grandfather clock at the end. Here's a closet. There's even some coats and stuff inside. Yes, I remembered to remove the hands off the torsos. Let's take a look inside these two closets. The one on the right has surfboards, skis, and a snowboard. Let's open up the second closet. What is that? That's the gun closet. Couldn't figure out what to use the second closet for. 
So I thought about just sticking guns in there. Great for the zombie apocalypse. Here's the first bedroom. I have this one set up more like a studio type room. Here's a closet. This does contain the sound brick. I couldn't put a whole lot in there, so I left it bare. We have a large desk. That is a cell phone. So this room is a bit modern. No rotary phones. We even have a radio. In this door we have a small child's room. This room turned out nice. So this young boy Apparently likes Lego. He even has a Lego set sitting on his dresser. Looks like we have a music player. Skateboard in the corner. So he has a flat screen TV and a computer. There's no game console because he's into PC gaming. He has clothes in the closet. Too bad these fancy doors don't have a knob on the back side. Here is the guest bathroom. Nice vanity with mirror and overhead light. A toilet. Tile floors. And a shower tub. This is a paper towel that I use to make the shower curtain. Here's the master bedroom. I like the comforter that I put on this bed. I used some ender pearls from one of the Minecraft sets for a quilt pattern. Looks nice, warm, and cozy. Flat screen TV, dresser with mirror, and chest of drawers. Let's open up this closet. It's packed full of clothes. Go through this door into the three quarter bath. We have a mirror and vanity in this bathroom as well. The shower. It's a bit small. But it is a three-quarter bathroom. Here is the two-car garage. We do have a hot water heater and a washer and dryer. A set of tools and a trash can. I even put 
a dark board in the back. I was trying to hide the gray from the panel meter. Here's the mechanism for the electric garage door opener. I did a complete tutorial on this. Here's some simple cards. These do roll underneath the garage door and they are mini fixed scaled. I'm not good at building cars. These will do. Here's the house in the dark. We are looking at the two front bedrooms. There's the front porch. Let's see how bright the garage is. It does have some brightness. Lego came out with a new set of LEDs that are a bit brighter than the ones that are currently in this house. There's the front porch. This house is difficult to muscle around on the floor. Here's the backyard. This is pretty bright. This is the new style LEDs. The house does contain 22 LEDs in total. <laughs> Trying to find a safe spot to grab onto. It is bright, but it could be improved with some brighter LEDs, but I like it. Let's close the garage door. We don't want those valuable cars stolen. Pretty cool. This concludes the walkthrough of the 1960s Lego Suburban Home. This project took about six weeks to put together. I had fun assembling it. Very enjoyable. The lot size measures roughly 25 inches wide by 45 inches deep. That's a lot of Lego. As far as the piece count, I'm not sure. I don't think I want to know. My guess is about 6,000 pieces. Everything is minifig scale. It is one nice house. The original house is roughly 900 square foot. I'm not sure of the stud count, but this is a Lego mansion compared to what this house would be in real life. All in all, this is one beautiful project. I'm satisfied with the results. Very nice. I hope everyone enjoyed the tour of the 1960s Lego Suburban Home. Thank you for watching.